Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today's video was highly, highly requested. I'm doing a Q&A all about how I opened up my online store, Sun Bunny. You guys have had so many questions about how the whole process worked and I am definitely no expert. I am not a business major. I know nothing about this. It's literally just something that I have wanted to do forever, so I decided to just go for it. I'm still kind of learning things as I go, but I'm going to answer all of your guys' questions. Told you guys to ask me questions over on on Instagram so we're just gonna go through all of these questions how did you find quality wholesalers to purchase from so this is something that takes a lot of trial and error not everything that I order ends up going on my website because sometimes you order things and the quality is terrible the sizing is off I feel like it's just something that you have to experiment with to find the best vendors to purchase from so I have a few vendors now that the quality has been like perfect spot on they're like the go-to vendors that i shop from when i'm looking for new things for sun bunny um but then i've also had a few that i have not had a great experience with i did lose a little bit of money because there's certain wholesalers that do not allow you to return things so you just kind of if you get something that's not great quality then you just you do lose a little bit of money on it but it's it's trial and error for sure how did you come up with your brand name is there any backstory so there's not really much of a backstory i was just playing around with names when i decided i was going to do this and sun bunny is one of the few that wasn't already taken i really like the way that it sounded i talked about this in one of my vlogs the sun is just something that makes me happy i think most people are always happy when the sun is shining and i live in the state of florida where it's like the sunshine state so it just kind of resonated with me so that's why i chose sun bunny how much do you pay for shipping and what service do you use so I print all of my shipping labels through Shopify which is how my store is like powered and they calculate shipping costs which is all based upon the weight and I use USPS for both international shipping and for US shipping any tips for small owners who are just starting so I would say start out small with your inventory that's what I did and it ended up being perfect for me because I was able to sell out of things I didn't want to start with too much inventory and then be stuck with things I bought that I can't sell so I think that's a good tip definitely start small and see like how much things sell out so that you know how much to buy because now I'm placing orders for way more quantities than I was my first two drops just because now I know that there are so many of you guys who are shopping my store so I need more inventory but like when I first started I had no idea what to expect so I started out pretty small and then another tip would just be don't sell anything that you don't personally love yourself everything that I sell on Sun Bunny I picked out myself it's something I love I would wear right Right now I'm wearing the Emily two-piece set. I think I still have a few of these left, but anything that I buy for the website is something that I love and I personally would wear. What company do you buy products from? So I buy from too many to count. I'm affiliated with a few different vendors on various wholesale websites. So the companies that I buy from are different like every single time. It just depends on what the vendors have. What made you want to start Sun Bunny? So before I really got into YouTube, I was totally like fashion lifestyle blogging. I do have my own blog, so I do not use it as much as I used to. I used to do a lot of fashion blogging and I loved working with brands and boutiques and like some of them were local, some of them were like bigger well-known brands. But I used to work with these brands all the time and promote their stuff and for the longest time I just like wanted to promote something that was my own and I had felt that way for a really long time it actually took me like three years before I finally was just like you know what I'm gonna do it I'm gonna take the risk a little bit of investment but I want to see you know if it if it's something I enjoy doing then I'm gonna keep going with it and uh, it's like the best thing I ever did because it has been so much fun like having my own store and I'm like a one-man team basically I'm running everything on my own my sister does a little bit of the behind the scenes stuff my boyfriend will help me you know here and there if I need his help but for the most part I am doing everything myself how did you decide which items you wanted to sell so I feel like I kind of already answered this um, I basically just look online and if it's something that I personally want for myself then I'm like okay I'm gonna sell it on my store that's how I do it basically it's like shopping for yourself but I pick things that I personally love and I think you guys would love. How long ago did you start with your business process? So the process for this I think started back in March. Um, I know I didn't launch until June but there was a lot of work that started for this well before we actually like launched. How did you come up with the name? I answered that. Uh, what inspired you? I think I kind of answered that as well. Um, how much investing did it take? So it was definitely a pretty big investment because 
there's so much more than just buying the clothes that I sell. So I had to buy a new printer, I had to buy like a domain name, I had to pay monthly fees, I had to apply for like my business license or register with the IRS for like tax purposes, like get my resale permit, I had to buy like a shipping scale and all of the shipping and packing materials, I had to have business cards made, tags made, thank you cards, like there's so many things that you don't think about until you decide to start a business and you're like, oh my gosh, like I have to buy all of these things and you just like don't think about it it was a very big investment but i did keep track of all of my startup expenses so that i can claim it on my taxes because when you start a business at least in the u.s you can claim that on your taxes and get a tax break so i have done a really good job of like doing my bookkeeping to account for everything that i've spent to start up sun bunny um but yeah, it's probably a lot more things that I'm even thinking of right now, but I have it all written down. I'm launching my own boutique tomorrow. Any last minute things that need to be done? So yes, I think one last minute thing that's super important to make sure that you do is figure out your shipping. Shipping is like the hardest part, I think, of running an online business. I wanna charge like nothing for shipping, like really badly. I had to use various shipping calculators to figure out what the best rates were. USPS happens to be like the best, cheapest, most economical way for me to ship things. Um, but it seriously just costs so much money to ship and it's all based on weight So like this Friday I'm dropping these really pretty striped beach towels and they weigh a lot So they're gonna cost a lot to ship and there's like nothing I can do about it I have tried so hard to get my shipping costs down and to make it make sense for everyone Which is why I think it's super important that you get a really good shipping scale and Individually weigh each thing and set up your rates based on weight because that's gonna make the most sense um, during my first drop, I had standard like flat rate shipping. It was charging someone who ordered like three or four things the same amount as someone who just ordered one thing. And that made no sense, but you know, you live and you learn. So I had to figure out how to set it up just like based on weight. So that way someone who's buying just like a necklace is only paying, you know, $5 for shipping versus someone who's buying like a bunch of clothes is paying, you know, 10 or $12 for shipping. It just like makes more sense that way. But it is a learning process and Chad and I have spent so much time trying to figure out like the best way to do shipping, which is why I do ship internationally, but not to many countries. There's only a few and they're on the shipping page on my website. Some of these other countries, the cost to ship is more than anything I even sell on my website. So I just feel bad making shipping for these other places when it's literally gonna cost so much. So I know a lot of people have been wondering like why I'm not shipping to other parts of the world and I feel awful and I want to but I don't wanna make you guys pay that much for shipping. So it just doesn't make sense for me to do that right now. I'm way too small of a business to be charging that much for shipping. It just, it's awful. Anyways, moving on, shipping is just a whole nother story in itself. Where does the physical items come from? What company are you using? It's a bunch of different companies that I shop from through wholesale websites and you can look these up online and you just have to sign up, but you do have to provide them with like your tax information, your business license number and your resale certificate. Like it's very official, you can't, like not just anyone can go on a wholesale website and shop. How much did you save up before beginning the process? So I saved up a few thousand dollars. I had just been saving up for this particular reason for a while. And then when I finally started, it actually cost more to start my business than what I had saved, but I just took more money out of my savings and I've already put that back in there by now, but it definitely cost more to start up than I realized initially. So I just had to pull money from my savings account and get this thing going, but I'm so glad that I did because it was so worth it. How did you create your website? I created my website through Shopify, but another really good source to create your website is Squarespace. So I would suggest one of the two of those. I actually did some sponsored videos with Squarespace. I freaking love Squarespace. They're such a good platform to create a website. I had already started with Shopify by the time that I discovered Squarespace and started working with them. Otherwise, I totally would have went with Squarespace. But to be honest, both of them are really great platforms to run a store from. They're super user friendly and setting up your website is very easy. How do you plan to continue this when you go back to school so a few people have asked me this I'm probably just gonna do less frequent drops so instead of dropping like every week or every other week maybe they'll only be like one drop a month or something I'm just gonna have to cut back a little bit but I am like the queen of time management so I will make it work I feel like you work hard for the things that you want and since this is important to me I will make it work when you become a PA are you still going to do YouTube and keep your shop open I really hope so. I love doing this so much. I don't think I've ever been more happier in my life than I am now. 
with filming YouTube videos, going to school so I can get my dream job, and then opening up my own online store. I'm thriving right now, so I don't want this to ever stop, even when I do get into my like official career, which is hopefully being a PA one day. Um, I really want to keep this up on the side, whether I work part-time and then do this the other half of the time, or this still just continues to be a side thing. I, I don't really know what the future holds, but... I guess we'll see. Cost and steps. So there's no like actual like number I can give you. Um, I mean, I kind of talked about the things that you have to buy to start up your own business, but it all depends on like what you're going for, what state you live in, what the cost of all of this stuff is. And I feel like there's a lot more resources online about like the steps for how to start an online business than what I can give you because I had no idea what I was doing, which is probably why I was working on this since March and I didn't launch until June. It just took me forever to figure everything out. Hardships you face. So one of the hardships would definitely be shipping. I have overcharged for shipping the first drop for a good amount of orders and the second drop I lowered it and then I lost out and ended up paying for a lot of shipping because I wasn't charging enough. Hopefully by this third drop I'll have figured it out. It's really, really tricky so I'd say that's one of the things and then the other thing is ordering from vendors and the sizing being wrong, the quality being awful and not being able to return it because there are like so many vendors that just don't take returns and you're stuck with it if you don't like it. So I have a good amount of things over there that will not be going up on my store because they're not good quality and I'm just not happy with it. I just like, you know, you have to take the hit and you lose some money. Where do you even begin? I think just starting out, you should probably start by just like choosing a platform to run your site from if you're doing it online like I did. And then you need to pick a name and make sure that that name isn't taken. Before you start shopping for anything, you actually have to apply for your business license and get your resale permit and all of that before you can do anything. And that's a bit of a process. So I would say all of that kind of needs to be done before you can even start thinking about, okay, well, what do I want to sell? Who do I want to shop from? How much am I going to charge for shipping? Like, I would say those are like the first steps. Who designs Sun Bunny jewelry? So I have a few different vendors that I work with on my jewelry and I designed it myself. Like I picked it out and obviously I don't make it. I love to support other small businesses when it comes to things like accessories, like my satin scrunchie set, that's another small business. My Gia gold hoops, this was from a small business. Phone cases, pop sockets, small businesses. So I really like to shop from other small businesses when I place these like wholesale bulk orders for my store because then it's like I'm supporting someone else and then you guys shop for me and you're supporting me and it just like keeps the small business realm going. Business license and the process of that. I can't really explain this because I only know how it works for my state. It's different in every single state. So I live in Florida. It's going to be different for you depending on wherever you live. So you really just have to look it up on like your state's business license website. So you can find it online. There's plenty of information. Are you expanding your sizing? So that is actually something I wanted to touch on because I know a lot of you guys wanted to know if I was going to offer like extra small, extra large, 1X, like other sizes other than just small, medium, large because I totally get it. Not everyone fits in a small, medium, or large. However, the vendors that I'm currently working with only offer small, medium, and large. So I am trying to expand and find other vendors that do offer more sizing, but it's difficult because the way it works when you're buying things wholesale is kind of tricky. So you buy them in packs. You don't get to choose like how many of each you get. Most of them come in packs of like two or three smalls, two or three mediums, two or three larges, and you just buy however many packs you want and that's what you get. So unless they offer XL for that piece, then you can't get it. The other way to get larger sizing is to shop plus size. But the problem with that is I might not be able to find the same pieces in small, medium, large as I am in extra large, 1X, 2X. So then I would only be offering certain pieces for certain sizes and it's just extremely tricky. However, I have found a few vendors that do offer up to size XL. So I have already purchased a few things. I think between this drop and the next drop, a few of those things will come out that will be offered in larger sizing. I hope that helps. Definitely still something I'm working on. I'm trying to find vendors that have accurate sizing and offer more sizing, but it is very tricky. Are you looking to have this for the long run? Ideally, yes. I did not realize how much I was going to enjoy running my own online shop until I finally went for it. And I love every second of this. I love working on this. It is a lot of work, but I have so much fun with it. So I really want to see where this takes me and I want to keep it going for the foreseeable future and just, you know, see where it goes. But anyways, there's still some questions left, but I feel like I answered the bulk of them. A lot of them are questions that I already answered. So I'm gonna end this here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you have any other questions that I didn't get to, please leave them in the comments. I'll try to get back to those if it's something I didn't answer. And I wanna thank you guys again for supporting me with my store and shopping. I can't believe the overwhelming amount of support I've got. So thank you again for that. And if you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.